everybody, Brambleheart here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be unboxing some G7 Littlest Pet Shops. So I already unboxed two of them by myself in private. I got the beach set and the, uh, the safari set, the one with the rhino and stuff. And I was really happy with the quality of the pet I got there. And recently, it was like the, that was part of the first wave of Amazon orders to come in. These ones came in later and I have now, so I'm going to open them. So the set I got here is the Farm Bestie set, which is the one I was most excited to get. And the entire blind bag display, plus the little bonus cap. We're getting into it. So first off, we are doing the Farm Bestie set. So let's Alrighty guys, so I unboxed stuff and I'm going to show it to you. There I am. Sometimes it's hard to tell where I am. Okay, so first off we have this Roblox code right here if you want to use it. We got the checklist with the personalities and all the pets. I'm going to get a lot of these. And finally, the trading card is of the little Pomeranian. And now we're gonna take a look at the pets and accessories. So the accessories it comes with are really cool. Very, very far away. So it comes with this fence. I have one of these and it's so good to have another because what use is just one fence. Kind of silly if my hands are shaking because stuff. Okay, have some apples. Yummy, yummy apples. Very nice. For the animals to eat, we have this little milk jug. I thought it was gonna be cow's milk, but it's most likely goat's milk for reasons. This bucket kind of broke when I was trying to free it, but no worries, it can be fixed. And boom, perfect. It comes with these little carrots, which is really cute. I like the little food accessories. I don't really have that much that are actually officially LPS. I have this little bone for the dog, and finally a hay bale, which I believe I do have one of already from the jungle set. And now for the main event, the pets. So first off, we have this ant. Now, this isn't a discoloring or anything. This is how it's supposed to be but I did not expect the body to be mostly pink. When I first saw this ant, I thought it was gonna be all red, but as you can see, its body is pink and its little tail thing is red, just like the head, which is what the design's supposed to be. I just did it. I love the design. She has a little white thing around her neck. She has little like segmented antennae with like little white segments. I really like the colors. And of course she has a little love heart on her cheek, this ant. He's the friendliest pet, and this is so perfect for Valentine's Day. This reminds me so much of those like special Valentine's Day pets. I love her so much. She's one of my favorites. I love her. This set is just my favorite. Um, taking a closer look at her now, I don't really see much issue with the painting. There is a little red speck on the white, but that's just normal manufacturing stuff. It just looks like something dripped. And you can't, it, it's barely noticeable at all because when you're filming or anything, a lot of the time it's covered by the head anyways. So I think that's just a uh, normal error that isn't in indicative of anything. The mold is from 2009, so we're using like, the same trademark molds. And I just really like her. She's in really good condition and she has such a good feel to her. I love her so much. Uh oh, something fell. Okay, we'll get to that later. So next up we have Donkey. So this is a donkey. And I really like this one too. I like the colors of it. I I don't have a donkey in this mold. I actually don't think I have an LPS donkey at all. Head's bobbly. Kind of is balancing weird, but that's thing with G2 LPS farm animals. They just, sometimes they balance, sometimes they don't. Um, I like the pattern. I like the little stars in its butt. It's like kind of like a wannabe My Little Pony and I find that really funny. 
I like the uh, little chest. So he's a sassiest pet. I'm, I'm gonna say this is a he. Yeah, so he's a sassiest pet. So it's really cool. Um, mane's nice, the tail's nice, the color's really nice. Just gives this like soft theme. I love it. Okay, next up is this goat. I love goats. So, this cow. I don't know. I think this might have a weird liquid issue, but I'm not sure. I doubt it though. I don't know. This was like stored in cold area because where I live is cold. But I do think it has that liquid issue that LPS Honey was talking about, but it's not bad. I really like him. He's so cute. I love the pink and the gray. They go so well together. One of the other ones I really want to get is a wolf cat for that reason. I like his little muzzle. So he's hungriest because the little muzzle has a little teardrop, which makes sense. He's a goat. They eat garbage. That's a thing. I like his tail. He's so cute. You have a little bit of a painting error there, but again, that's just a thing that happens with this mold in general. I'm pretty sure it's common with other goat, goats in that mold. Um, have a little tiny bit of a weird thing. Looks like it might have collided with the ant or something. So, I don't know, but I still think it's pretty good condition. The eyes look good, everything looks good. And this was the mold that was used in... I don't see a copyright anywhere. Huh. Odd. Anyways, cute little goat goat. I love goats. I love him. He's nice. The next pet we have is the man, the myth, the legend, the rooster with the red beak and the orange thing, and he's a fanciest pet. Very flamboyant. We love him. I love roosters. I have a G5 or 6 rooster, so and I don't have a G2 rooster, so I love roosters. They're so cute. And he is very, very nice. Um, he looks like he'd be like peak popular guy for something or other. I don't know. Um, again, I really like the use of the primary colors here. The pale yellow with the bright shades of red and blue. They just fit him so well. He's so colorful. I like his little feet. I like his eyes. And I like how they kind of did a non-traditional thing with the beacon stuff. It's really cool and adds a little bit of uniqueness to it and he has the little logo on his hair well not hair his, his crest and finally again probably one of my favorite pets out of this i'm saying that's the literally other one though is the pomeranian i don't have a pomeranian my friend ravenheart does she's so cute i love her so much i love her so much she's so cute and fuzzy I really like the brown and the purple eyes go so well with her fur and she has that little lightning thing mark and so she is a sportiest pet which makes sense she's a dog she's probably running around hurting all these animals number 2009 mold I like her little pink nose how it kind of matches the lightning bolt it's a very simplistic design but it's also a very gorgeous one 10 out of 10 so that's all my farm besties. I'm going to move them out of the way for our next one. Next up, we have the mother load. This is the 18 full display pack of the blind bag pets. My camera does not want to focus. I love it. Thank you. Okay, good, you are. So this is 18 pets plus a bonus display pet, which I'm giving to you. Raven part. So I like, I know everyone comments on this, but I like how they're organized too. It's really good and creative and it does the job perfectly. So we're going to be opening all 18 of these. Oh god. So I'm going to start with the process of opening one. And then I might just fast forward so this doesn't end up being like an hour long. So you open it by like putting the flaps up is much like the other ones. Actually, okay, what's going on? Why is it hard? Does it do the guys being silly? I'm not gonna save the boxes or anything, but I also just feel bad breaking them. I don't know if 
this is a problem with me, but I feel like empty for inanimate objects. It's weird. Okay, so we kind of broke a little bit of it, but it's it's opening. It's doing the job. I'm moving the box. There's no. This is chaos. So we have this, and then we open the, the flap. Okay, I'm using my scissors. Scissors right there. This is such a chaotic setup. I love it. And then you just cut it up, and another one fell. Okay, uh, yeah, this is why I'm not gonna record me opening every single one because this is peak content. So you open this, you have a little tissue paper, it's like you're opening a little present. And right now, I don't know what it is, but I'm excited. Let's see what it is. Oh my god, is the poodle. Oh. I love the poodle so much. She is so cute. I love her colors. I love little stars. It looks like she kind of put them as like little makeup decals. There's a little issue on her butt, but I can probably wash it. Her bows are nice. A little bit of paint leaking, but that's okay. I love her so much. I remember showing my mom what you can get, and she was like, you need to get the poodle. And I'm like, I'm going to get the poodle. So when I'm done with this, I'm gonna send her a thing being like, I got the poodle. Also comes with a brush. So I'll be back with Okay, more. so I have a system where I just opened five more boxes to the plant where I can just pull the pet out. Very efficient system. So I'm just gonna move them all towards the right. So I have room. So I'm just gonna do this for all the rows, so I'm just gonna be like this row it has five because I opened the first one, the next row will be six, then there'll be six again, etc. So the first one here, I'm not looking at the card. That's cheating. I want to be surprised. I see green. Is this the one? Oh no, it's a horse. <gasps> She's so cute. And she has a little green bucket. Lots of buckets. She does look kind of green on the camera, but like she isn't really. I'm half, I'm using a towel to record. So I literally am looking at the pets in the camera, which is why I lift them up so much. So she is a friendliest pet, which is nice. She kind of reminds me of this little like, nice little country girl who wants to be friendly to everyone. I love her so much. He's a little quiet still host. Actually, no, it's a guy. He's a nice country guy. I love him. He's nice. Okay. So the next one is, can this up here? Is, oh boy, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm not trusting any colors, I see. This is actually green. Okay, that's, it's the worm. This one's the worm. This one has to be the worm. It is the worm. I do not have a worm. I also don't have a Clydesdale horse, but I don't have a worm. And there's that same funny thing about this drink. So when I was little, I used to go to like these like daycare things in the mornings before school. And they had LPS and they all of them had so many of these specific accessories. And I wore them so bad, but none of the sets I could find had them. So now I'm just getting a lot of them. So I'm healing my inner child. So this is the worm. I named this one Wormington. The poodle I named Amethyst in the LPS game. This one I named Wormington because he's Wormington. He's the sassiest pet. He is a silkworm. Right now, I don't see that many errors. The paint's a bit greeny on the star, but it still looks good. Everything looks very nice with him. And with Mr. Ponyman, everything also looks amazing and peachy keen with him. Oh, why did I say peachy keen? I don't know. I have no idea. I had a long time, guys. Okay, so this next one is number... Four out of six for row one. Okay, I'm going to be opening this right now. Don't know who it is. See, bamboo is probably the panda, isn't it? It's the panda! Oh, he is so cute. Oh, he looks so good. His eyes are so glossy. I love him so much. He's so precious. I love him. And of course, 
the comments with the bamboo. And in the LPS game, I named this one Poe because I love Kung Fu Panda. And he's quite obviously a friendliest pet because hearts are there, hearts are in his eyes. He even has like the old school eye highlight as heart. And he has a bamboo, which I'm going to get a lot of as I collect these LPS. Pet number five is, oh boy, oh boy, what is this one? Is the bowl? Oh, it's a bowl, it's the bowl. Yep, it comes with this trophy. It's number one, and there's the bowl. I love this man, his name's Angus. I'm gonna make him like, unnaturally offended by the color red. And he has a trophy, because he's first place, he's sporting this pet. But it wasn't this, this like macho guy who just hates the color red, right? So this ant comes up. Hey, what you up to? <gasps> You're red. Get out of my face. You are red. That is so offensive to bulls. What do you mean? Go away. So that's kind of what I want to do with him as a character. I love his gradient. It looks so nice. His hair's nice. His head's a bit stiff, but this is pretty common with some moods. Um, it's no bobble, so it's just hard to turn as well, but again, this happens so much with G2 LPS, so not a big deal. His eyes are sky blue, has this little, like, subtle lightning bolt. Why won't my camera focus? If it looks grainy, it's because my camera's making it look grainy, but he's nice. I like his little trophy. I love this man. Okay, number six. Let's see who this one is up very well it is i see my oh it's the kitty oh my god it's a kitty this is one of my dream pets this is one i wanted the most out of all of these she is so cute she's a little himalayan cat she is a chilliest pet she has a little snowflake she has heterochromia and she is looking good. Her eyes look good. Again, the camera makes it look grainy, but her eyes look good. The gradient is done so well. The mold is great. I don't, I don't see any issues with the color. This is amazing. And she comes with this little lemony thing, which is another thing. I think I had one of them and then I lost it and I wanted another one so bad, but I have one now, so it's nice. I think it's really goofy. It's like a food bowl. But with a straw, it's silly, and we like that because LPS can be really silly. So yeah, I love her so much. I named this one uh, Frosty, I believe. Okay, and I'll be back for row number two. All right, I have the next six pets ready to go. So this is number seven. All right, so we have, let me get off. Okay, another thing. Do, do, do. See the binoculars. I think the 15 pair I have. And <gasps> oh my god, oh my dog. It's the otter. It's the otter. She is so cute. She's a friendliest pet. This is the cute. Oh, she's so cute. She looks so shy and adorable and I love her so much. I want to protect her at all costs. Oh my goodness. She is so sweet. I love her so much. Again, I'm not really seeing that much issues with the paint job. This is such a cool kid. I love her so much. Oh, I'm gonna cry. She's so cute. Okay, next up is, this is number eight out of 18. After this, we have 10 to go. <gasps> it's the pelican. So there's the dead fish. I love. I really like the dead fish. It's kind of silly. And you stay silly here. Um. So this one is another chilliest pet. This little pelican. I, I love this one so much. Again, I think this is this is a guy. I'm gonna say. Um. He's really, I love him so much. He, I, he's great, he's great. This one didn't give a name, and the otter I named Dr. Otter after, again, another character. Um, anyways. So I like, I like the marks on his little crest. I like that trend with the birds, it's cute. His eyes are so pretty, I love it so much. 
I like his little beak and his feet and the little purple under them. The color scheme is so good. This goes hard. Okay. Love him. Next up is this one is number nine. After this, we're gonna show you halfway through the box. It's a lot of pets I've gotten. This one is Acrobat Bar. Bell, where'd you go? There you are. Eek the box fell. Everything's falling. This is the bunny. This is the bunny. I love this bunny. A lot of this bunny has gotten so much unnecessary beef, specifically about these ears. But I think he looks great. I love his face looks so good. I love the little chilliest mark there. I love the ice bunny scheme and also the scarf is to die for. I love it's a brand new accessory, never before seen. And it kind of covers his little hands too. So it looks like he just like forgot his mittens. So he's like warming up his hands in the mittens. He is so nice. I love him so much. His name is George. So I'm not showing you like the cards or the coins. I might do a big thing later, but I don't know. So we're officially halfway done with the display. So. This is number 10. Okay. This one is, so we have a little sit barky boat. I always call them barky boats because it's really, <gasps> we got the spaniel. This is probably the closest I will get to having a cocker spaniel right now because they are an obscene price on eBay. Oh my dog. So this is a little spaniel. Um, I believe it one's a cocker spaniel. So is this I think this one might be a King Charles. I love her face. I love her ear highlights and her leg highlights. Um I'm trying to see what she is. Um I don't see much of like a mark. But I, I think she is sassiest, if I do remember correctly. But the way they're hiding it is very, very subtle. If it is, I'm gonna have to take a look at her card. She is, she is sassy. Yes, again, very hard to tell. I don't think they did much. Maybe it's the highlights that are supposed to look like stars. But again, it's a very subtle way. And I really enjoy that. I love her so much. She is so cute. And she comes with a little barky boat. Probably one of my favorites along with the rest of the pets here. I just love LPS unconditionally, unless they're G3. Okay, next up we have number 11. Oh boy, oh boy. I see a crown. It's, I know who it is. It's the queen. So this is the queen corgi. She's very cute and she comes with a crown because she is royalty look at that oh yes the queen of the bag the queen of a blind bag the queen of a display she sits on her throne and just it is very elegant and her crown always falls off her head because ramble heart can't put lps crowns on properly She's really cute. I love her so much. She is a fanciest pet because of the little diamond of the little arrow there, but it's okay. Little diamond there. I love her so much. And of course she's a fanciest because you know she's the queen. I love her. I love the queen. If Rip Queen Elizabeth, you would have loved the Royal Corgi G7 LPS. Okay, next, I think I know what this is. Okay, this is a surfboard. A surf dude. And he is here. He's so tiny. Okay, this is the rooster. And this is the thing. And this is because it's a, it's a pet, triplets pet. So it's meant to be like a little baby. So I like him. He's nice. I. A lot of people don't like his uh, highlighter yellow thing, and yeah, it's kind of off-putting, but it does look cute, especially with a little, like, lightning that's, like, breaking it. 
I'm gonna make him like a character that has like who gets like roasted for that birthmark all the time and he just can't get a break. So that's what I'm planning on doing with him. So yeah, so that's number 12, and I will see you for the last layer. We did it, boys. We're on the final six. So this one is number 13. Okay. Look, look. So yeah, this and it's the other camp. It's the other camp, but it is the other camp. Oh my god. How about that? It is Panda Monia, the legal name given to this panda. Again, it's looking really good. I don't know which one I like better, the gray one or the purple one. Uh, they're twins, by the way, I decided. And again, comes of some bamboo because pandas love bamboo. Alright, this is number 14. We're getting near the end. Oh, boy. What's this one? It's the chameleon. I don't. I do not have a chameleon. I love the pattern. Oh yeah, that pants is my favorite pet by the way. This chameleon. She's hungriest. I love her patterns. I love the texture of the chameleons. It's something I've really wanted for the longest time, but couldn't get. But now I have one in my hands, and she also comes with bamboo, and I named her Karma Chameleon. Karma, 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 chameleon. I love her very much. All right. Third box. Oh, no, this is number 15. Uh oh, I didn't pick the uh, thing out of this one. Whoops. That just made life a bit harder, but oh well. So we have this pet here. And let's see. Is this the shark? Oh, never surfboard, it's the shark. It's like surfing according to the shark attack stats. It's a shark. I love the shark. I love shark. Oh, yeah, shark so much. I do not have a G2 shark. I grew up on the Cookie Sorrel Sea School of Sharks series. And it made me want to oh, PS a G2 shark so bad, but I couldn't find any of them. And I have one here, and it's so cute. I don't have any issues with the teeth. The eyes are gorgeous. The markings are great. There's a little stain up here, but that's something I can wash. And I love them so much. OMG. Number 16, we have three left. Oh, boys. Oh. It's the lioness. So we have a little potted plant. It also came with the and the little lioness. A lot of people call this mold the lioness mold or the jaguar mold. I call it the panther mold because panther encapsulates all big cats. So there we go. That's how we solve the issue. She's a hungriest pet, which makes sense. The lions have a quite voracious appetite. Um, I like her marking. She kind of reminds me of a lioness version of Scar with the orange and the black. I like that so much. I love her. I love her little white muzzle. I like her little nose. I love her. I'm also just a sucker for cats of all shapes and sizes. And yeah, she comes with plants, which is odd considering how lions are carnivores, but maybe she's using it to lure her next catch. Or she's a vegetarian. Like we know the lion. This is number 17. Okay, see pink, this is the anteater, isn't it? The only anteater I have is this sparkly one. Comes with a banana peel. Okay, my heart's gonna go crazy for that. And the anteater, like I said, I only have a sparkly one, so I don't have a non-special edition anteater. And I love her so much. I like her pink, she looks like a little like punk rocker. She looks like she would be in like a glam rock, punk rock band. I like her little tail, I like her hair, I like the little stars, so she is a sassiest pet. And her eyes are cool, I like the green in her eyes, it's like very complimentary, it's a pine green eyes. And as always, banana peel, I love her to bits. And finally, the final pet. Can you guess which one I don't have? Because I kind of lost track, except I know which one it is. This is the walrus. This is the walrus, never anticipated. And we have him. I am the walrus. 
Cuckoo Kachu. And he comes with a bucket because, of course, I has a bucket. No, they received in my bucket. He's the chilliest pet. Really cool pattern. I love him so much. He's ready to slap somebody, if you know, you know. Um, I'm reading from Santa because, again, if you know, you know. If you watched those videos, you know what I'm talking about. I like his, I like his little tusks. And I like him. I really love the walruses. And I do not have a walrus. So I'm really happy I have this walrus. So yeah, that's my, uh, that's the third layer done. But to your viewer, we're not done yet. All these pets might have been free. But there's one more that's still stuck. The other Himalayan cat. And I must free her. So, it's too high to see, but I, I'm holding her right now, getting her out, and she is out, and now we have to get her out of the display. Oh god, you're not going to see anything, this is absolute carnage. Um, okay, good, I got her little section out. So that's so out of the box, it just kind of slides out. Hey guys, it's Bramble Heart. It's LPS Tutorials, one, two, three here. Today we're gonna have a LPS tutorial. How, who would have guessed about how to free a display LPS from a case. You take that thing out of the box, then you fold these things in, and then you tuck them in, and then you free this part of the box, throw that out, and then you have this little cat who is still stuck in plastic. This is like 13 layers of security for this little guy. So, I'm going to unwind these little things. And then, there's a basketball game going on, so people are very happy. We're unwinding this. And then, eek. Take that out. Take that out. And boom. Congratulations. You have freed a display cat. And... Get the OG Frosty who is buried by the box. Where are you, Frosty? Uh, there we go. These two are pretty much identical. We do not change anything for the display pets. It's just a little bonus double you get. I am totally giving my double to Ravenheart. I love this so much. It also doesn't have any issues whatsoever, so it's really nice how I have two. So we just have one because my friend is going to have one. I love her so much. So anyways, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And let me know your thoughts. Did you have, did you get any G7 LPS? Do you plan to? If you have, do you like them? Let me know, I want to talk. Bye.